I am no monkey, and I am currently the Colosseum world record holder. The last boss of Colosseum has 800 ranged and mage defense. His only weakness is slash. Scythe is a must. My strategy was to take max melee with claws to burst soul down as fast as possible. Four-way shadow is enough to one-shot the melee Fremnik every time. Webweaver two shots the mage. I tried to SGS spec the ranger when possible, as it always counts as a max hit. I brought mace to kill smaller targets and for its prayer bonus. All targets in Colosseum have equal melee style defenses. I used thralls and pulled soul runes for my shadow for death charge to continually upkeep SGS specs. There's a lot of RNG involved in the invocation system. Good runs are not guaranteed. Resets are likely. This is a list of my invocation priorities as of day one. Which wave you are on does change what a good or bad choice is. I always prioritize taking a new invocation over upgrading an existing one as the game likes to throw tier two or three invocation upgrades at you more than new non-terrible invocations. I used B5's spawn tile to manipulate the spawns to be better. If you're too close to a spawn point for the mobs, they will not spawn there. The red radius shows the area around your character where spawns are blocked. Gray tiles are spawn points. This tile blocks the majority of spawns and allows rotation to the close pillar. This gives you much easier spawns to deal with. Look, there's a lot less stuff in Colosseum. It looks like Colosseum feels harder because there's no wave 50 ramp up to the harder waves, or am I wrong? Also, there aren't any less things to keep track of during last boss fight. Um, it is Inferno mixed with Toa. That is, that is how I would describe it. I just batted my chest because you mentioned Toa. We love Toa. Way harder than Inferno. Probably close to 400 Toa in difficulty. I don't know if anything in the game comes close to 400 toe in difficulty. That is really pushing it. It's fun. It's snappy. It's like, mm, I love doing the solves. I like killing things. It's just, it's just fun. And then you have to start again because you got bad invos, you know? Which NPC would you kiss on the mouth? I'd kiss Soul Heritage right in his silly little mouth. I'm going to kiss your lips. Dude, he wouldn't stand a chance. He'd get all intimidated. Ooh. I am exhausted. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to do. We may not get a day two. Uh, okay. A leech has spawned. You have to stay ahead of him. Yeah, exactly. Once you make a mistake, you have to start brewing, and then you start... You fall behind. You can't keep up. It is a struggle. The orb just decimated me that time. It was homing, yeah, everywhere I went. Resetting? Oh, uh, yep. No, oh, we weren't done yet. Yeah, and no point in that video did I say I wanted it to be... I wanted more difficult content. That's not what I said.
not RNG checks every wave. That'd be ideal. Oh, same way I like Inferno so much, right? Inferno, when you're doing it the first time, feels impossible. And, like, it's all RNG. And there's just... You just have to get the right waves. And it's frustrating. But once you start getting into it, you realize every single wave can be solved. And it's incredibly dense. Like, everything has a solution. Everything can be done. A leech has spawned. This, I don't feel like, has that. Um... Okay, for the rest of this run, I'm taking a huge hit to my restore because I've gotten unlucky with these invocations. Wish Inferno, yeah. Next run, I might not take a huge hit to my restores. Leech has spawned. I don't like being given a Sudoku with no solution. You aren't told that before. Yeah. I like that it feels like you're plopped in at wave like 50. That's kind of cool. And it's it's fast paced. And it's short. It's unique. It's, it's not Inferno, though. There's no chip damage through prayer. It could be worse. Yeah. Ah. How did I click that? Oh, I think it was dead already. A leech has I think Thrall killed it. I think I had the same thing happen. I think we just haven't given Doom Scorpion 3 enough of a shot here. That's true. In a in a in a month or so, people will figure out how to deal with Doom Scorpion 3, I'm sure. Monster spawns are random. I'm manipulating them to force spawn them in the middle. Away from me. Oh, 
I'll be okay. Alright, we're good. It's off tick. Patch out the spawn manipulation. They need to balance the they need to balance the invis. They they just do. Um. Nice. All right. My tower right here is the optimal spawn. Is the only choice. to back up more. Oops. That should work. There we go. Don't do it. Okay, does he keep healing there? He does? Okay, what if I do this? No. Okay, he definitely needs line of sight to something. Forty-four. That's like near max. All right, we're good. A hundred runs with current knowledge and assuming you're performing normally. How many do you think it gets a wave 12? Um, I don't know, chat. What do you think? I feel like wave two, I reset one in three. I think. 
So she's just on wave two. And maybe another one in three will reset before four. So maybe two out of three reset before wave four. I think. Uh, I don't know. Perfect play 33 out of 100 runs. I just got Blasphemy 3. Yay. that's accurate though because this run is fucked now right but i'm so deep i'm just gonna send it anyways i don't know man The recess because the invos make the boss nearly impossible. So, Blasphemous is the only thing you can take at the beginning. That's the only choice. The other two are awful. If you have to keep taking Blasphemous because it keeps coming up and the other choices are even worse, then you can end up not having enough prayer very, very easily. Um, I'm fucked. A leech has spawned. Huh? Honestly, probably less damage overall. Right. Torva diff. Ellie flick diff. Got overkill, so I didn't get an attack off Lucky. A leech has spawned. And now I'm getting frailty. <sighs> okay. This is wave nine. All right. Good luck, me. The faster I'm done with this one, the faster I can start another one.
I've been meleeing in mage gear. Whoops. Uh, all right. I was wondering, like, why I'm not getting any Blood Fury heals. So that would be why. Down the prayer goes, down it goes. More table choices, reentry, fuck it. That was very clean. <sighs> A leech has spawned. This is solved. Next one is a way before boss. But the inmos are rough. A leech has spawned. No balls? It's true. I can't get bald. We have three restore right now. I think we're going to be okay. Scythe is uh, asleep right now. Is that uncharged? Nope. Look at how much of the... You can see where he was standing because it took so long. <laughs> huh? Okay. All right. That's a re-entry two angle, which is bad. Pray we get lucky. I'm gonna sip this. All right. That looks lucky.
Yeah, it is. We're good. I had this before. Oh. I'm not sure what I can do with this. Is he not healing her? Too far away? Okay, we're good. Prayers, we're good. Okay. Alright, we're going to the boss again. This is going to be a problem. Um. Yeah, okay. I actually need to relocate. Uh, okay. Antiquar didn't see me. Cool. Okay, he should come down the side and we should be good. has spawned. That's kind of a good spot for that to happen. Okay, we got him. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Re-entry dealt with. Uh, okay. I'm trying to retain prayer. I sip one dose, and then we get through this. There are no orbs in this fight. I did not get it. So that helps. Just kidding, I did get it. Does Totemic kill the boss? <laughs> huh? Any knowers? Surely no one took Totemic before the boss. Hmm. Now we get to try. Do you want to find out? Do it for the wiki. Someone said in Scotty's chat that it does. If it does, it's way worse. Like a million times worse than orbs. The orbs shouldn't pull my prayer off. They should just exist and do some damage. Spawns one at 50%. We don't have info. <sighs> yes, we know what to do. We just need to do it. It's free. I only have one claw. Unlucky. That's all right. I'm going to run in and claw and then immediately start meleeing. We got to kill the one guy. Keep the chat open. Turn off the Thrall Helper. 
I'm going to try to pre-move the movement a little bit. Like, move backwards from his middle as soon as he does an animation. And then prepare to step to the side. That's the goal. Pating. Soul Heredit is a very intense fight with mechanics never seen in a boss fight before. The boss has multiple patterns of shockwaves, which change based on last attack used, meaning you need to plan your next movement before you even see the attack. Soul has a parry attack, where he will charge with an orange glow, and then attack you three times in a row. To avoid this, you need to pray protect from melee with perfect timing as the attacks come out. He also has a grapple attack, where he shouts a body part in your chat, and you need to react and click the gear piece on your equipment tab to guard against it. There are various floor hazards around the arena. The important ones to dodge are the lasers, as these hit for over 70. Oh, let's go. Dead center of them, keep chat open. Spear one. Shield one. Spear one. Spear two. Shield one. Oh no, it's not shield. Can't make it. Real. Chat box. Shield one. Spear one. Spear two. Spear one. Spear two. Spear one. Spear two. Spear one. Shield one. I don't know if I have volatile. I don't think so. Okay. Woo. Oh, it's done. Jesus fucking Christ. Twenty six, twenty two. Is that wreck? What was wreck? It was 26 something. Wreck? <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, it's for you. Jeez. That's hard as hell. That was so close. I had three prayer points, man. I had to start flicking piety. <laughs> Put it on. The, <laughs> the ugliest thing ever. <laughs> we got it, boys. Not give you parium so much. I had a really good DPS. It's so bad. <laughs> huh. I 60 health, no prayer left, and I had just enough super combat that I could brew super combat. <laughs> no one KC pet? Maybe you get it when you leave. Damn. Unlucky. Spawn. Is this rack? Let me see it. Best time 2622. Global best time 2622. That's it. That's me. I have wreck.